Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and I know that it is not typically exciting to see an unboxing, but this is actually an unboxing of a box. So like, it, it feels like it's kind of important to show the way this thing was shipped. So we have the Viticulture wine crate here, and this is exactly the way it was shipped to me. So you can see that, um, while well, the box itself, you know, actually shows the the panda markings and right here so this is the way it arrived and you can see that it's got you know these nice protective pieces on either side so let's go ahead and take a look at this together i haven't uh taken anything off and of course i have it upside down um and uh yeah so special situation here i have a second one because that's got to go elsewhere but um so yours will probably look you know just like that your your shipper or whatever and the that cardboard covering right there so we have the first game continent pack which um you know is actually going to come with the expansion viticulture world which is in fact inside this wine crate um if you you know if you buy it due to to cost constraints so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and let me take this plastic off and we'll take a look all right so i have the shrink wrap off here and um let's go ahead and take a look at this box here so nice one i love the the wood grain texture and how that looks like a wine crate um Nice stoneware games here on the side. And if you want to store it this way, you know, you have an option here with the Viticulture wine crate and the Viticulture logo. And then this side also says stoneware games. The first edition of this wine crate does have some, some numbering there. And that's what that top looks like. The bottom, I'm probably going to, it's just a, uh, I got stuff in there. It's probably going to be all over. We'll see. Um, but the UPC and looks like a couple of wine glasses left a mark there. Let's go ahead and open it up. Nice uh, wine colored, I guess, <laughs> box insert there or box. So here we have the the contents from Viticulture World. So. This should look all familiar if you've already seen an unboxing of Viticulture World. This is the expansion content right here. This is, um, this is, I, I don't recall the board being wrapped in the expansion just when you buy just the regular small box version, but I could be wrong, just, uh, filler here and here are the different inserts so this is supposed to allow for everything viticulture that has been made including you know if you were one of the early backers uh when you know stonewire was still doing kickstarters and you had the expansions for uh tuscany the arboriculture and the formaggio i'm probably doing that terribly but just uh, containers all over and another you know, nice deep storage container and that right there and here is the expansion content so basically what you get in the the normal box of viticulture world and that is the bottom and I will make an attempt to put all the content I have into one of these boxes and uh, maybe I'll tack that on at the end of this video, but you can see the, the bottom there. And also there is a, a document that I'll put up on the screen that Jamie shared that actually walked through how, you know, his is actually organized and uh, you might want to follow that lead or you may find a, an organization method that works better for you. Go ahead and toss this back in there for the time being. Uh, that's all, all a real nice fit. Nice option. Now, um, depending on when you're seeing this video, I guess, will determine whether or not 
the Viticulture wine crate comes with the Viticulture World expansion inside or if that is going to be an extra purchase. The first edition printing at the very least has Viticulture World in there just due to, you know, the cost of freight shipping right now, just the, the way things are. Let's go ahead and take a look at this first game Continent 9 card promo pack. Go ahead and open this. I, uh, I probably should have just used scissors and made it look all pretty, but... Oh, what are you gonna do? It's too late now. I've already I've already committed to complete and total destruction here. Apparently I woke up, I chose violence. <laughs> of course I don't want to ruin my stuff here. So we have the green gully, the setup, innovation, seasonal workers. That promo pack right there and it says your efforts have been noticed this is the card that you can actually include it says before checking victory conditions at the end of year six you may choose to flip this event so it says you can use the seventh card in any deck of the the continent cards to add to year seven and then of course right here it says uh, if you win, you can say you won with help, and if not, you know, that's okay. Go ahead and give it another shot. So that is the first game promo, and you can tell these differ from the base game because they actually have this little star here, that, that promo indicator, so that, um, you know, if these things got mixed up and you're like, oh, man, which green gully am I using? Well, the stars are the, uh, are the giveaway there, so... That is what is contained in the first game continent pack. And yeah, like I said, um, I will try and figure out how I want to organize my copy of Viticulture. And uh, maybe I'll throw that in there here in just a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right. So I went ahead and used Jamie's packing method that he put up on the website. And so I'm just going to do this in reverse, I guess. So Matt's on top. Some, you know, silicon gel. Uh, so we have the roll books. Here, let me take this out first. Now, technically, this is if you had a bunch of like the, you know, the Tuscany, the uh, uh, arboriculture Formaggio, whatever the feet, the cheese. Like I ended up using just kind of my my meeple source gray workers and the special workers. That's what I use mine for there. Got the rule books. Got the game boards. Have a layer of viticulture world. And I did go ahead and put that promo pack in there. And then here we go. We have these new trays. Um, these are the... <laughs> I have a hard time throwing away or repurposing. I, I will eventually repurpose, maybe, um, the original meeples. So they're underneath these, and then the meeples on top are the meeple source uh, special workers. And um, so there's a peek at that. And then, yeah, these nice new trays for setup. Same deal. I have all the, the pieces I need for a game in here. Um, you know, you can see, hey, there's the mill. And, um, yeah, so you can see I got that going right there. And another layer of those right there. And this is where a lot of the stuff goes. So here we have the, from Tuscany, the, the structure mats. And so I do think I'm probably going to end up redoing this and I'll, I'll show you why at the end, only one little change. So I separated, um, the more visitors and visit from the Rhine Valley with just, uh, <laughs> just a little piece of cardboard just to keep those separated. And then these are just the rest of the cards. Uh, you know, I got the vine orders, the structures, winter, summer visitors, and, uh, the vines, grape orders or wine orders, etc. Here's um, just the the gray stuff, the gray workers, the extra worker, the special workers, and the uh, for the turn marker, first player marker, um, glass beads, 
got my my coins here and then i got my red and blue cards my um autumn cards and just these are the the vineyard cards so um i don't have the extra stuff but you know in terms of you know what came with tuscany um the original kickstarter version but there, there's still plenty of room in here so i'll go ahead and you know that's what i have in here go ahead and, and put this stuff away and then show you kind of what i discovered and what i meant by i'm probably gonna end up redoing this so um i'll put these right here and let's get these boards down we have viticulture world and these game boards right there put that right there oh i forgot a layer <laughs> before i put the boards down viticulture world goes there and then this stuff goes on top and then the I probably just did that in the wrong order. It doesn't really matter. Um, no, it's fine. And then there's this. Now, here is what I discovered when I was kind of putting this stuff back together. Even, even though the cards for this fit in there, so do these. And with, like, no box lift. So I'm probably going to put the cards back in here because, I one, I think the boxes are, are nice looking. But also... They fit with no box left. And then because I said I can't seem to throw away anything, I still have my cardboard <laughs> coins, which fit nicely. And then these um, are something I was thinking I might do a shadow box with like the extra throwaway cards from Viticulture World. I didn't want to destroy them. I wanted to try and find a craft to do with some, uh, do with them or something. And yeah, so like really ultimately this is going to go on the shelf. And you can see there's there's lots of room for other stuff. And that is my viticulture wine crate. Take care.